Another back wall date has come and gone. The number 15 has been used in the past multiple times as a back wall date for this to occur. What are you, a rookie? Come on now, if you've been involved in this for at least 12 months or more, you know better. The hype is real, ladies and gentlemen, but not if you're part of the Rapid Nation crew. Hey, welcome to another Rapid Updates. This is Rapid. I am back, feeling better here. Thought I'd come at you with some updates. We'll keep it short and sweet, to the point, and that's how I like it. Quick news, less BS. Let's get rapid with Iraq. As I was telling my Telegram group earlier today, if you're not in that group, you want to join, the link is down below, along with some other cool rapid links. Check it out. But let's start off just looking at this page here. Several banks in Baghdad. One Kurdish bank in Baghdad getting hit with explosives, and a second one as well, and they're owned by Kurdish individuals. So it really makes me wonder, like, what's going on here? This is a political attack, in my opinion. And I'm looking at this page, there's like, and what I'm seeing is these are political mafia style hits because of what's taking place right now by you know who to try to sway the opinion, causing fear. Middle East is decades behind the Western world where these violent attacks are being used as muscle to scare the opposition. Bright and early this morning, this was the headline, three dead, six injured of UAE fuel tanker explosion claimed by Yemen's Houthis. This is on two UAE, United Arab Emirates, tankers that were damaged through this attack. And this is all towards Saudi Arabia where the Houthis are an arrival against Saudi Arabia. It's said that these attacks were carried out by drones. Blue Water to open offices in Iraq. Who is Blue Water? They're based out of Louisiana, and they basically, Blue Water Shipping Company is privately held steamship agency specializing in coordinating port calls and ocean-going vessels and a timely execution of import and export shipments of bulk, grain, oil, sea, fertilizer, steel, ores, coal, petroleum, minerals, biomasses, and different types of oils. This is what they do, shipping and port industry. 21 arrest warrants for senior Iraqi officials over corruption. This came out on the 14th of January. Senior state officials on charges of corruption. 77 officials were summoned for questioning as part of an anti-corruption investigation, but no names were mentioned. Current and former ministers. Let's see where this takes off. I know there are thousands of you, including myself, that were wishing that this would have been over by now, that this date would have just happened. What really helps me and others is really focusing time and energy on on something that's rewarding. And I think you'll realize that if you focus your time and energy on something that's rewarding and building and getting results, by the time this happens, you will have established something concrete and fun to do and built by you. And that's what I really want to encourage you all to do. Check out my wealth event that I'm hosting. The link is down below for all the details. So where are we with this election building the government up with Al Sader? And here's what is going on. You know who this guy is? This guy, he is the commander of the Quds Force of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Ismail Kwani. He wanted to meet with Al Sader in Najaf. Kwani discussed with Al Sader the unification of the positions of the political forces within the Shia House, pushing the Seder's bloc to be with the coordinating framework in the bloc within the Iraqi parliament with the aim of forming the government. He wanted to make sure that there's a leader in the state law coalition who's Nuri al-Maliki to participate in the new government. This framework is led by leaders. He is wanting al-Maliki to be part of that. al Seder said no. There's a lot of these headlines where Kwani fails to convince al Seder, and al Seder's preparing to plan to abandon al-Maliki along with al his deputies second time around he comes at him and says hey we need to get this done and still al Sader tells him no go no joy also sources coming out the prime minister is in the hands of al Sader. 
They have a name. Will it be Al Kadimi again? We really don't know. This is what we do know, though. The personality of the Prime Minister will be announced after the election of the President of the Republic in the House of Representatives. Before I let you go, I want to say thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I've reached 7,000 subscribers. Much appreciation to all of you who decide to click and listen to me. I applaud you. Thank you so much for being part of the Rapid Updates crew. Look forward to making many more videos for all of you. Until next video, stay rapid.